Hi there, and welcome to VSF Recovery Team in part two of the D19 recovery. Well, if you missed part one, go back and check that out. We had to cross a real sketchy bridge to get to the D19. For those of you who haven't watched part one and are still wondering what a D19 is, check it out. Well, let's go over and take a closer look at this uh, D19 Alice Chalmers tractor with a loader. That's what a D19 is. And uh, I'll let you guys guess how heavy it is. I already looked it up. I know. But we'll let you guys guess. Oh, it's definitely soft here, guys. We aren't bringing the wrecker all the way out here. That's for sure. Oh. Yeah. So the gas cap was missing. It was out of gas. Now there's a bunch of liquid in there that's water. So we got to drain all of that out and put a battery in it and see if it'll start. If it doesn't start, we're wincing her out dead. It doesn't smell much like gas. Does it taste like gas? <laughs> I can I leave that to you. That's what the car wizard does. He tastes everything. Yeah, we got some broken chains here. It looks like you guys tried to get it out, huh? Yeah, Anthony was working on it for quite a while, and I just got the stuff to it on. He felt playing with it when he turned it down. Not a toy. Not a toy. <laughs> no. So is there a, another drawbar down there? In the way bottom? The, the, a big drawbar on the bottom or not? No. No? Well, okay. Well, there's one, yeah, there should be one right there. Or no, it's dropped. No, it's just, it's dropped down so far. Well, we got shovels, so we'll dig it around it. If yeah. there isn't the the, the oh. actual draw bar down below? No, it's not there. It's not there? Okay. No, it's not on there. All right. Well, we might, uh, we might just go around the axles then. Go around the axles. Oh, look at that. This tire's flat. Good thing we brought an air tank. I'll have to see if we can get some air in that. I don't think we're going to get air in that. Look at that rim. I don't know. The rim's kind of bent. Hopefully there's a tube in there. Uh, owner was saying that they twisted the, tube, twisted the wheel in the tube. Or in the oh. tire. So... Uh, I think you're... So that one's going to stay flat? Yeah. You've heard of uh, run flat? Well, this is stay flat. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. It's only flat on one side. Come on. <laughs> Just on the bottom. Yep. And isn't that supposed to help on the float? <laughs> yeah, that'll help the flotation. <laughs> um, all right, well, I suppose we better start stringing out cable. Yeah, the kid said he's got a hole in one of the lines, so I'm sure it's low on. That's all it's good. Soon find out which one. <laughs> Maybe. He said it quit linking, but I'm I'm assuming it ran out of fluid. Uh huh. <laughs> all right. Well, I know we're gonna have to anchor the front of the wrecker off. This tree up here looks like a good one. Cable maintenance. Oh, we got her bound up pretty good from when we uh did the S10. When we had to use it to hold our axle in place. Oh, that's right. We haven't had time to check that out yet. Oh not good. Alright. We're gonna have to uh Pull the truck up to the tree, and hook it on, and see if we can back the truck up and get the cable out.
And Alice, huh? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Alice Chalmers. Is that your last name? No. <laughs> this ground's pretty soft out here. I don't want to bring the wrecker all the way out. So we're going to have to see how much cable we got. And uh, I think we're going to have to double it back. That's why we brought the Bobcat for an anchor. Uh, we might have to turn this into a whole block and tackle setup with cables. And. Uh, See if we can get this tractor out. You want to reach in? Get that hook when I. Oh, it's soft here. I was wondering maybe the side with the air in the tire might be better. I don't We're know. gonna do both. Okay. All right. Good plan. Okay, got enough to loop it around. Yeah, if you're ready, let's see if it'll start. Okay. And if it'll start, we'll see if we can do it single line. Uh, So we can 
we've put quite a bit of tensile strength on it. We should be all right. Um, we'll have to keep an eye on it, keep our ears open, and uh, see if we can make any progress now. Now, I'm standing in the triangle of death, so I'm going to go over to the other side of the truck where it might be just a little bit safer. I don't think so.
out and uh, got a lot of gear to pack up. Uh, I'm glad the rain held off as far as as long as it did. Um, it was getting pretty hot out here, not like the S10 recovery, uh, about a 95 degree difference between when we were doing the S10 and, uh, and this one. I'm not sure which is better, the cold or the heat. I'm sweating. We got some gear to pack up. We'll see if we can get across the bridge and then we'll be done. All right, we got things packed up. And we'll see if we can get back across the bridge before the real rains come. All right, we're going to cross the bridge. Are we going to fall in? I don't know. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, good. That way you won't see us go down. Don't tell me that. I don't want to go down. Well. Oh, Lordy. Oh, hey. Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. No, hey, no, but no. He, he ran out of gas on the other side anyways. Ooh, are we over yet? Yes, yep. we are. Ooh. We're over. <laughs> Well, the Ellis Chalmers uh, won't run anymore. Oh, hold on, just right. Yeah, I know. The Ellis Chalmers won't run anymore. Uh, no fuel's coming out of the tank. Won't even fill up the float bowl or the uh, sight glass. And uh, so we're going to see if we can get around him here. I hope it isn't too soft. And uh, pull him back to the house. Okay, he said tomorrow. Okay, hold on. Too soft, it didn't sink into the mud. Ed would say we got them out. <laughs> Thanks for watching BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, stay safe, maybe we'll see you in the woods. <laughs>